Hey guys, welcome to my new video. The first video where I actually look at you eye to eye. What I want to talk to you about today is exactly what's in my description and in my title. Um, I'm a newbie at selling things that I find on Goodwill, other thrift stores, etc., etc. Mostly Goodwill because they have a military discount on eBay. Flipping. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar with that term. What flipping is is selling something for a higher amount than what you paid for it. Thrift stores are a great place to look for the right item. What I want to do is talk about one of those right items. Um, as I've gone along, I found that some things really didn't get me a lot of profit, really aren't worth stuffing it in the envelope and mailing it. Why? Because eBay has fees, PayPal has fees, you have to pay for shipping, and at the end, you pretty much break even if you're lucky. One thing that I found that's really awesome is fine china. Little individual sets or pieces like this. Why is this awesome? Because people pay a lot of money for fine sets of china. Or maybe their family bequeathed something to them, um, etc, etc. There's lots of reasons why people have really nice china. But there are still people that along the way lose items, break items, um, maybe you're a family that moves a lot for certain reasons and boom, you know, the movers break that one piece, that one piece in your entire 50 piece set. What are you going to do? Buy a whole new set? No, you're probably going to look for that one piece that broke. Where are you going to look? Etsy, Amazon, places like that. Probably eBay. Um, one example right here, this little piece. This is a Royal Albert Rose Cameo Green Saucer. Um, probably got lucky with this one, but it's not exactly a bad example. I listed it last night, and when I woke up I had a payment for it. Why? Because it was exactly what somebody was looking for for their set. Um, and when we're talking about sets, you know, you don't want to completely rule out an entire set. If you find a really nice set um, at Goodwill, whatever thrift store, you might want to consider buying, especially if it's like this set right here, 44-piece set of Wallace Heritage, fine china with silver detail. Gorgeous. Um, this little baby was originally $60 a set. Well, red happened to be the color of the week that it was 50% off, so it got the entire 44 piece flawless set. No chips, nothing. Not even wear on the detailing. Anywhere. I looked. And I got it for 30 bucks. So sometimes it's worth it to buy a set, or if it's incredibly unique, like this pretty little Christmas set of gold detail. Um, I think this is a serving of four. I'm going to botch this name, Tang Shan or something, made in China. Obviously. Gorgeous. So um, one thing you can do with the entire sets, obviously shipping it is going to be a nightmare. It's not even worth your time, unless you really want to do it. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, say don't do it, because it's up to you. But it could be a logistical nightmare, especially if USPS. I've gotten a lot of broken things in the mail. Just saying. Um, but with an entire set, one idea you can do, you can still sell it on eBay, but there's an option for shipping where you can select local pickup only. If somebody in your local area happens to see that and you want to pick it up, fine. I would not meet them at your house. I would not meet them at their house. I would meet them somewhere neutral and safe, like a McDonald's or whatever. Wherever you, in your local area you would feel safe meeting a complete stranger. Um, you know, obviously, you want to take other precautions too. I'm not going to get into it in this video. Um, same thing applies with Craigslist. Craigslist would probably be the best place to sell something because all the people that are looking at your stuff are already in the local area, presumably. Another benefit of that is no fees. Because Lord knows the fees with PayPal and eBay can add up quite a bit. Not that bad if you have something that you can mark up quite a bit, but still, kind of pain in the butt. And if you can avoid it, why not? So that's about it. Um, if you guys have questions, go ahead and post below, and I will try to answer them in a timely manner. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit what I found about fine china, some of my successes. Thank you. Bye.